So after 20 years in Silicon Valley and realizing that really at the end, how many people did we help? How many people have had a better life? Because all that technology, all the efforts, all that money that was sunk in all those, all those companies. When we moved there to the Virgin Island, that was part of the reason. We, we did realize that really we haven't helped a lot of people. The availability of healthcare in the Virgin Island is just not the same as what you see uh, stateside. Care is provided primarily to those that have a good insurance. Uh, care is provided on a first come, first serve basis. Health is not taken seriously here. There's a higher rate of diabetes, there's a higher rate of pre-diabetics, there's a higher rate of high blood pressure, and there's a higher rate of oxygen issues, and people are dying. The cellular network is not what it is in the States. Many people do not have Wi-Fi, it's uh, unreliable. There's also power issues, the power goes up and down all the time, so that the technology uh, that you will find in the States simply just doesn't work uh, all around the world. As an engineer at heart, trying to solve a puzzle, Francois said, we can do this better. And so he built a device that took the preventive chronic care medical devices and was able to run software against it that helped manage and collect that data. For several years, we, uh, we tried to find a, a solution to all this. Uh, we tried various technologies. We said, okay, nothing is really working here. We tried a few, all the things I've talked about, you know, LoRa, Wi-Fi, you know, third-party serial systems. Uh, way too much work, not reliable. And when you're dealing with patients, it has to be reliable. So we decided to give it one more shot. And the one more shot was, was Blues. So when we started to investigate the Blues technology, you know, we plugged it into a USB connector, and lo and behold, after a few lines of code, that they provided, data started moving. A few configurations later, we got that same data moving into AWS, and we feel that uh, the technology provided by Blues, it seems to resist anything that happens out there. And if something's gonna break, it's gonna break in the Virgin Island, long before it's gonna break anywhere else. And it hasn't broken, so that's why we're using the Blues technology. And Avixia essentially allow someone to plug in a box, they don't touch it again, and all they have to do is learn how to use the medical device that they need. It allows better engagement, which means better preventive health care, because everyone's engaged. And if you do preventative care, you're gonna at least maintain it, if not get better. We know we can give them these devices. With Blues, it's gonna work. And Blues is the easiest way to do IoT communications. Our company wouldn't be there without them. We are Evixia, and we're Real Blues customers.